do nothing. At level six, you you slow some support, or I would like to say slow some kids, and then the birds come, and you got them. Kids. <laughs> Lumi, this has been the creepiest draft from you. <laughs> Yeah, this tournament. Well, the coddle and, and the, the kids. And yeah, the coddle, the kids, the waifu dress up site. I mean, hopefully it ends now the game begins. But I'm just showing my uh, my breath, my my with breath, breath your, of knowledge. Your breath. <laughs> Somehow it comes out breath. I love it. What am I trying to say? Breath. This breath. Is a D. Breath. Dude, TH sound is super hard for non-natives. Let me tell you. Well, here's the Lord of Lechery himself, keeper of the waifu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, someone photoshopped my face on Coddles, and it's just like very, very uncannily like accurate. He don't cares. Dude, it's the yin and yet yin yang fox courier again. You don't know the relevancy of that? It's not just relevance. The relevance? It's relevancy. The rele I don't know. It's just relevance. Do you know the relevance of this? Any cares? You know, Arteezy 2 is uh, a lot less boisterous than Arteezy Classic. Yes. He is speaking a lot in all chat nowadays. <laughs> Stop talk, please. Relevancy is a synonym for relevance. Okay. I don't know. I don't know actually know what the difference is. It just has something relevant. Hmm. hmm. Anyways. Well, I found Jerax. Quick, turn into a tree for more move speed. Do you guys remember how was Anna's vote yesterday? I mean, they lost the series, but it was. It was okay. His chronos were decent. So, you know, I haven't seen Monkey King at all since the big nerfs. Um, so the big change, obviously, is Basher does not work in Wukong's command for the, the statues. Mm -hmm. um, but since then, he's got nothing but buffs. Like, can one of you guys walk through, like, some of the changes, like, where you feel like Monkey King is at as a hero nowadays? He still is, like, effective of an early roamer. Uh, they changed his they changed his ulti too. I think they made him a lot tankier during ultimate. You get like absurd amount of armor. Yeah, you get armor, you're... but you don't get that much damage. Right. Oh, yeah, plus eight, fourteen, twenty. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So it's no he's no longer this ticking time bomb. Like once you get bashed, like team fights are almost impossible to take. But yeah. still, still a strong like team fighting support. Would you say overall? Yeah, he gets he gets a lot of good vision. What are his talents? Oh, I think they buff Boundless Strike too. Yeah, they yeah, buff by Boundless 25 Strike damage. Output. Mm -hmm. So pretty much his ult is not as OP, but his other spells are all slightly better, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Oh, he's a courier. Yep. Easy 350. Don't mind me. They're actually not going to mind him at all. They quickly move in. Jerex, though, trying to get in position here on Zayana, turning back for Universe. Strong dual lane for EG. If they get aggressive. Meanwhile, bottom, it's going to be an Ursa versus an Earth Shaker. That is no fun for Shaker. No fun for any melee, really. I mean, he got clapped at one, so S4 could actually like sort of trade with him for a little bit. Yep. Seems, seems like this EG dual lane is wrecking so far. But OG want to change that. Going to wrap around here, revving up the Fortune's End. They lock down Zai, but... So I will just TP away. Universe, force back. Should be okay. The one lane we haven't looked at is uh, No Tail in the mid visage versus Sumail. Wow, what a player. He even dodged the Fortune Zen to keep his. Oh, wait, he popped another clarity. I thought he dodged to keep his clarity rolling. I was like, dang. So, so far, Sumail seems to be dominating mid pretty hard. We'll see how, how the game develops. Once you get more levels into your cloak, you get to trade more effectively as well. Uh, so I think the lane goes better for no tail. But his problem is being less hit right now. It's 3 CS. Seems like, you know, Sumail could shove the lane into the tower. And yeah, you don't have any for the root control of his visage. That's a, no, you crave chill a creep and just... But you can't push it away. Book it. And you lose out tons of XP. 
So far, crit sticking around bottom. The other dual lane does find a DD. Has gone for the route level one. Gonna uh, grab bounty rune. Maybe you can make that rotation on the visage. Has the hook now. Do you guys find it surprising that uh, Zai is playing essentially the five here and Crit is playing the four? I think it's like a hero specific thing. Well, mid might get though very soon. Sumail about to have a full wave. No Tail has finally put in second point in Grave Gear. Oh, Ooh. yeah. On point. Fresh. But oh, oh. It's like just Dude. enough from the Grave Chill. No. Or is it? Or is it? It's close. Ooh. Auto attack. He gets it. 300 billion range melee. He's no missing problem. so many creeps at tower. Yeah. That's sad. Well, Meanwhile, there was a kill up top. One to one the score. So, uh, universe did go down. Zai usually plays a keeper, though, so. It is a little strange. I don't see position 5. Uh, I guess Misery plays position 5 Pudge. It's not super uncommon, but more rare, because Zai usually plays the Pudge, too. Solo kill, RTZ. Yeah, just ran there. Ran the Shaker down, has the superior move speed. Even with the double stun, and the enchant totem doesn't hit hard enough for him to try and turn that one around. I think uh, S Ward needs to go for that low pull uh, from this point on, because RTZ has face boots now, and there's no way Shaker could lane. Well, he's out of mana. Yeah. So that helps a lot. Uh, you, you get this experience, and then, you know, go from there. Still, he's getting a lot of CS. 13 CS in the Good lane, Jurex flying in. But Sumail waltzing out. So far looking pretty good for EG aside from Universal Linux, but he is up against the tri lane and still getting his levels, so has to be happy enough with that. Oh, Pudge coming in, is he gonna get the hook? Negative. Ugh. Worried about no tail CS here, down 10 already. Simultaneously, looks like Fly wants to set something up on Sumail. Would love to kill him off before top he hits lane. six, but yeah, Chase on the Zai, top lane, worming his way through the trees. There's the bash. Probably, oh. no, the two hero stun, but you know, Strike making him back to safety. Battle Strike comes in, needs a little bit more oh. damage, though. The range, but these melee attacks come over here. Jerex almost gets pulled into Zai's clutches, but Zai will barely live to tell the tale. Fly did try to jump Sumail, but Sumail able to dodge away from that. That was a beautiful two-man impale. It's another two-man impale, or sorry, another impale. Yeah, I'm just taking some punishment here. Just trying to rush the Midas. So far, I'm watching this Monkey King, and I'm not certain that you're he's not gonna, feeling it. Yeah. And this is supposedly one of his like strong phases, right? Like the whole Jingu mastery, zoning and harassing. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. It's supposed to be one of his stronger points, especially if he goes poor mid shield. If you go poor mid shield, you do that. If you go boots, you roam him around with your jump. He also has a void as his partner, though. I think if he actually had like a better hero to slow or to stun them, so he could actually get his stacks on, then it would be a lot more effective. So I also think the inherent lane partner is very bad. Well, they had they had the Oracle, but uh, yeah. since then Oracle had to move bottom. Yeah, that TP. That TP salvaged the lane. For EG. Oh, S4. No teleport scroll. In a lot of trouble. Gets the Fissure out, but going to be slowed oh. down by crit. Does go in with the Echo. Fly's trying to support him, but okay. try to nuke down crit. Need one more nuke. Oh, does manage to kill crit off. No, the deny actually is going to negate a lot of that. Looks like they're trying to set up here top lane in the meanwhile with the Illuminate, but still eyes on fly. Almost tanks the clap. Is able to escape from Fuzzy Wuzzy. And the birds are in line, so is this the big turning point for No-Tail? Can he get this mid lane back in, uh, in control? Because right now he's getting out CS fairly heavily. And he went for a 1 2 2 build, not the 1 1 3. Oh! The oh, oh. That looked real close. Was that a length issue or the angle? 
Uh, couldn't tell because of the I lag. Think slightly of both. That is an ugly pudge. What? I think that pudge looks awesome. Yeah, it looks like an angry board. I said board. ugly, not like poorly made. So that is not a face. Ugly of has a, the negative connotation, man. I thought you were no, flaming. It's like it's a very good at being ugly. It's an impressive piece of ugliness, Lumi. <laughs> it sounds like he's playing me more and more. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it, that is that is. Would you kiss that face? Let me put it that way. Absolutely not. That's what I thought. I wouldn't mind getting dismembered. You want that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that pig to take a bite out of you. Ugh. S4 is. He's getting yeah. pounded here by Arteezy. Not respect he for did. Ursa. I'm not sure if he was expecting help or something. But. It's a pretty terrible lane. No, no gets jumped. Crit. No hook. Gotta respect those birds. And another rune. What do you know? Hasten double damage. Moving the way top. Courier. Monkey King. <laughs> really anything? Fly away, bird. Ooh, see ya. Okay, okay. Oh, Sum even Sumail's not That was some now. parkour. <laughs> <laughs> parkour King. I like it. Here comes the smoke gank though from OG. If they can find a kill here, could well set them up for a tower takedown with these familiars. Though no, the echo creeper is not yeah. really there. I don't know. So maybe not. But they should be able to get our teeth. They'll lock them down. The familiars come in. Fissure. And easy Ursa kill. Alright. Visage visage damage. Didn't have his ulti up. I had to use it to kill S4. So I would say this lane's not going that bad. Look look at the CS. S4 is 40. Ursa also has 40. Yeah, he died. Three times, but that's still way more than you usually get out of a shaker in this early game. And now they will convert it into a tower. This is the beauty of the visage. Yep. And unlike, you know, say Death Prophet, there's no real downtime on this. Oh, a jump on to mid fly tries to get this creep wave out, but. Staying alive, Sumail. Oh, one last gasp. He's not going to make it. Could turn around. He's got the stick. The bird. He's got the bottle, but the bird controls there. The hook back from crit. Maybe enough to save him. Jerex hunts him out. Wants to bring him down. Doesn't have the mana for the boundless strike. This putch, though. Crit making the plays. S4, though, was just pushing in that bottom lane to get the tower. S4 has blink? Is, is uh, no, he's gotten treads. Okay. It's like zero gold? Blink coming out? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Looks like Ursa going to be able to do a very early Roche at this pace. Doing very well. If the birds don't scout him out, yeah, that's the, the other aspect of uh, the visage. Monkey King too. Monkey the King's Roche pit is good. a scary place to be between the the Chrono, the birds, the Fissure. Here, it's all about the Pudge to save you. I don't think I've ever seen Monkey King and ES on the same team. It's like having two Fissures. As long as they cross each other, looks looks pretty. Who needs Kunk anyway? Oh. Some trees tree for days. Tree this action. is a meta tree. Uh oh. Jump. Sumail says, get the hell out of there. But he walks right into S4, who has the Echo, the Boundless Strike to start it off. He's almost out of Monic. Big commitment for Jerex. Will he get the kill? He will. Then up to the high ground. Outmaneuvering them. OG, get baited. Sumail makes yeah. the money play. Very good control by the Storm, making sure that he's never going to get Echo. But up. at the same time, looking to make the move on Arteezy. OG, one of the strike back. They're committing a lot to try and kill him off. Fuzzy Wuzzy eventually will fall. That might be another tower with no town here with the birds. Good hook, though, to at least get something out of it. And mid tower, it's already getting pressure. I don't think this top tower is going to fall. It's still at 100% HP. We have Universe and Sumail will claim this easy tower. Yeah, Jerex has not been able to do that much at all. Boundless. I guess, uh, you know, we'll play around his ult, see how that combos up with a Chrono. But it doesn't do any damage now. And he only has one in... It'll make them Chinese computer lag. <laughs> <laughs> Good land pick. <laughs> Lemmy was born on the streets. You know, he understands the real intricacies of Dota. It's not about micro or That's item like selection. That's like the equivalent of throwing sand in someone's eye. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it might be dirty, but you can't deny hey. its effective, Ben. If it wins, it wins. S4. Don't go kill, for his range. But Universe finds Ooh. him. Impales. It's going to set up the hook. Nice combo play simultaneously. Up top. They want a piece of Arteezy. They're probably going to get him here, too. Ana 
hounding him. And in comes the Oracle Snare. Now the follow-up Boundless Strike connection. Claps. Takes forever in a day to kill, but eventually it will fall. Still an even Steven's game overall. Only about a 2k gold lead for EG. Manageable, but this storm a bit out of control. The conversion rate on this gank. <laughs> uh oh. Universe is a quelling blade, but didn't really try to chop too many trees down. Very scared. At least they're still aware of the Monkey King. They're probably still traumatized by that Monkey King era. It's really annoying to try and like defend your towers now. You've got familiars hunting you, Monkey King sneaking through the trees. They're going to try to set up on Anna. The backstab Ooh. won't be happening as Crit cuts it off. And now Sumail in position makes something happen. This punch has been on point. One thing that we saw from Ana's Void was that he, I think he went for Lincoln's first last time. And it was just super slow. Yep. And he got destroyed because it was just way too slow. Uh, that was game. more of a team thing, right? It's, it wasn't like particularly his control wasn't good or anything? Well, he wasn't able to offer much in a team fight because he had like perseverance, right? Right. So this game, he's going for Midas. So if he wants to contribute to team fights, he can still keep his farm up. Uh, which uh, like perseverance is a similar amount of gold. Close enough to, the, to where you can compare them. And he can actually do both, contribute to his team and keep his farm up. They want a Roche. It looks like perhaps that's four in the middle lane. Does get caught out by Sumail. Keeps on chasing him out. Wants to make something happen. Has the Echo Slam the hook, though. Oh, my With God. With the denies again. Crit threading the needle. Sumail getting bailed out time and time again. I did not know Crit was such a good push. This is oh. why perhaps they uh, swapped, as you mentioned, Lumi. These hooks have been on point. Oh, he's also pretty rich. I'm interested to see uh, how many flesh sheep he's gonna get when once he levels it up, because I feel like he's participated into a bunch of kills. Eight out of twelve, counting kills and assists. Not as uh, good as DDC yesterday. <laughs> Over a hundred percent participation rate. What does that mean? Means uh, it's easier with two racks down, because you only need to defend one more rack. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was telling me the Vlat one's a whole lot of swearing. Basically, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 what the fuck is going on? I'm not surprised. <laughs> I still remember that TI where Vlat had to cast every game because none of the Russian casters got visas. It was TI2, I think. He did the whole event solo casting, I believe. Oh, it should be easier now, right? Vila is a warrior. A legend of Dota. Dota's that drama. What drama? Drama about Vila. What, what we drama? won't go into drama. What drama, Ben? Everyone else knows. I you guys know. are not drama fiends. The Waga thing? No. That was like five years ago. <laughs> Our jump happened, about to happen on top. Jerak trying to be safe on the bottom lane, but they are swarming this tower. Arteezy has been very slow on his farm after winning the lane. They do find Arteezy. Familiar stuns. One, two. They got him now. Ana dropping the chrono. Big commitment. And the trees. Lark's universe looking to turn this around. But S4 finds oh. him off. Fissure cuts off Zai. Do they go on him? Now Sumail wants to run that. It's a pretty deep dive to try and kill off the keeper. And they have to be careful as S4 is controlled. He's about two-thirds of the way to that blink dagger. Doesn't want to die now. There's a lot of discipline for them to not go on that keeper. Yeah, That was tempting. Yep. But Chrono was down, Tower was still up. I don't know if they knew that the Shrine was still down, but it's an additional factor to consider. I'm surprised that at least the birds can just swoop in and see what they could do. I didn't realize you were such a drama fiend, Ben. Oh no, I'm not. I just read about it. I was like, oh, okay, that's mildly interesting. And then move on with my day. But you did read about it. It did pique your interest. I think it's more like it was there and Ben was saw there. Oh! There's a hook! No. There's no follow-up. That's enough with the dismember. There's some of those pudges that you, you can't even cast any sort of instant cast spell after they hook. It's like yeah. they have... It's like they're scripting, but they're not. They're just that good at eating. eating I mean, you. you're supposedly... You're, you're supposed <laughs> to... <laughs> you're, you're supposed to cast 
dismember as you click the on them up. before they even the hook completes, right? Yeah. yeah. Which isn't like that hard. It's just uh Well they did nerf the travel to uh they nerf travel time on it? Travel speed, I think. Did they? Something about that. Punch was This was a while ago. This is back when Punch was like super picked all the time. Oh yeah. Juicy plus one hundred right there. Juicy. So now wants a little juice as well. Poor familiars. Surprised they gave Ra Aegis to Ursa. I guess they don't want him to fall off because at the, at the rate he's going right now, he's just going to die in all the team fights. But I think they were maybe worried about OG trying to like jump into the pit or yeah. something as well. Shaker is very close to the blink. They're going to need some really quick blinding lights to break up the combo. Right now, the way the fights go down, it's like Chrono. It's like dump the Oracle damage and then Soul Assumption comes out and then dump another Oracle, Purifying Flames, and the person's dead. That's a lot of damage in about two, three seconds. They need to, they need to be able to uh, break it up. Like Nyx needs to be able to blink the back line and stun them. Sumail Storm. might be walking into a trap here. They saw him pop this invis. They want to set up on the high ground, but he has assumed the low ground as Jerax jumps through the trees. Sumail is going to try to make his move. He walks into S4. Oh, he's so quick, but oh. the Echo still finds him. Oh. Chant Chrono. Totem. Look for the dunk. Chrono committed. The Sumail hate parade has arrived, and down he goes. So worth. So worth. Blink reveal. Well, he has almost instant respawn, and he did manage to spend his gold beforehand. So not, not that bad for them. That was really nice tracking by S4. Just anticipated where he would stop uh, after yeah. that jump, and Blink echoed like as he was midair with the ball lightning. That could have easily been a disaster, though. We didn't really get to appreciate its full beauty because, you know, perfect world, but very well done. So, face of what we'll be going for Lincoln's after the Midas. Was a block here. Dismember, very good, a block. Cool. Electric Vortex, pretty yeah. good. Mana Leak. Mana Leak, also very good, a block. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Like, it's always weird, you know, you don't want it to block too much stuff, because then that means anything can break it, but you want it to block enough useful Just things. the right amount. Mm, you know, it's, it's I the really lock syndrome item. The HP on there is really good, though, to, so you don't you don't die. Like, it allows you to get your chrono off simply because of the HP on it. Strength value. Birds. Ooh, no tail didn't go drums this time. He's yeah. going drums. Oh, sorry, Axe Lincoln. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't get the drums this game. I think a, like his team needs attack speed. Face is void. I get face is void with the attack speed talent instead of the strength. I feel like they're much more spell based. Maybe that's why he skipped the drum this game. But right. birds. Yeah. I the mean, birds, Lumi. The birds. Think of the birds. Like look at how they killed the the storm last last yeah. fight. It was just like Oracle doing, you know, at least half the damage. Uh, yeah, that's true. Maybe they value that extra third stun. I think the search on is pretty value. Combined with Echo, that's like good what, six seconds maybe? And they have no combo combo breaker on EG. They need a glimmer. Oh, Keeper actually rushed Glimmer yeah. first. That's, yeah, skipped. That is actually the such a good rush. play. Surprisingly. Usually it's like Echo I mean, Rush is their own baby oracle. Their combo breaker is actually the punch, right? There's so much stuff in the fight though. Like the Void can just actually just tank the hook, I think, right, right now. And then walk back in it. As long as Ursa dies, I think they're okay with the oh. way that the fight goes down. Or Storm, whomever Storm. it is. BG will scout out a flock of birds moving on to mid. They don't see these heroes. They've got a nice aggro ward planted down if OG commit onto them. There's no way they can take this fight without without Ursa. And Sumail is a haste from bottle. Got to be careful how you approach if you're e or OG. Right? Oh, wait, they can recall him. Huh. I forgot about recall. They seem to expect something is not right. Some good deep wards, like even suggesting that OG's in the neighborhood. Oh, they might find crit. Yes, sirree. Pudge has been detected. Don't know if EG attempt to fight this now. TP out from Sumail. Uh, Goodbye, my old friend. It'll take a little while. Oh, sorry, the, the boundless strike coming through. Get the kill. It really does look a lot like Fissure. I found the in, uh, the timing of that smoke very interesting because Urza still has his Aegis. And it almost felt like they wanted to take a fight into the Aegis. But 
Chris, uh, as you guys mentioned, wasn't there, even with the recall. How are you guys feeling about the long-term prospects for these teams? Like, on one hand, you've got the Sumail Storm. On the other, OG of quite a few scaling cores. I think Storm can go off this game. I feel like Storm has to go off this game, because Ursa, to me, is getting control pretty hard. He just did it a tank. As long as he, he needs to pop in Rage before Chrono. If that happens, I think they, they will crush the fight, but he hasn't been able to do so yet, I think. And also, we haven't seen any Pudge hooks from the Chronosphere, so these teamfights have been going EG's way, or sorry, OG's way, but Evil Geniuses have not been executing their teamfight to its finest potential. The finest. I think it's actually pretty even, because um, I see that Kato could scale amazingly once the X online. Nyx is also pretty good for these kind of fights uh, that's really relying on positioning and stuff like that. There's the hook to start it off. S4 gets pulled in. He went for the enchant totem, but Dismember beats him to it. EG start the fight off with a clean pick. Now they ball in. They want Ana. Sumail not quite able to find him. Going deeper. Looking for No-Tail. That's a very tanky target to try and control, though, with the Grape Keep first close. And now the Wukong's command is going to discourage EG aggression uphill. They get forced back a little bit. Still, though, the Shaker has to buy back. Recommit again. Crit with these hooks. He's managed to control the Oracle now. Echo came through. Now the double fissure combo from OG. But is it enough? Now fighting through the Boundless Strike. And we'll be able to kill him off. Now Sumail jumps away. So it ends up being a two for two there with a buyback, I believe. Sumail getting a Bloodstone charge, though. He has to tap the Shrine, balls the low ground with it. The Fissure comes through. Stun number one, stun number two, and stun number three. Just the Chronosphere rains down. The oh. blinding light is there, but Noctel can kill him off anyway with the power of the Soul Assumption. Great blinding light pushed Monkey King out of his ultimate. He got False Promise, so he was going to stay in there and try and beat everyone down. But yeah, False Promise. Uh, wasn't enough to keep him inside. Great buyback by S4 right there. Yeah, that was a, probably a, kind of a tough call, but they were right on his shrine, so easy for him to just. Perhaps a mistake for Sumail to be chasing so aggressively into the shrine, which I think, in turns, made the buyback better. They didn't have Shaker though, so he thought he thought it was a good idea. Yeah. And they also hooked the Oracle. But did Oracle die? That no, time? he false promised himself and yeah. left. What Oracle is fine. He false promised the. Uh, Sure I think Oracle just himself. like face edict himself. What is oh, Pudge gonna do? Okay. Like <laughs> hit him, <laughs> hit him with his fan. But, but Oracle's yeah. like a huge distraction for these fights, you know. Yep. EG spent a lot of time going after him. We saw that in some of the previous games. That's what he does. Even if you kill him, it takes a while. I didn't really watch how the like quote unquote one v one went between the Storm and Visage, but I imagine Visage actually could tank a lot of initials, uh, Storm's initial burst, right? Well, now that he has Solar, yeah, especially. Just sits there and... Going on Visage is very risky for EG. Right. Like, they were going uphill into a Shrine, and they were initiating on a Visage. Ana? Got the Lincolns. Oh, blocked enough. Jumps away. He wants to fight. Die. Arteezy trying to duel here. Gets bashed. Ana knew that one was coming, and now... They can punish this perhaps dropping Wukong's command and get boundless strike coming through. Ana taking the man oh, by the getting hook. the bashes, but the hook from distance crit instant cancel on this member now has to turn and run. As the false promise did come through the chase forward, leaping on the universe, pouncing in, gets the stun off. Where's bash. that bash? Ana not getting it when he really wants it. Meanwhile on the top lane, S Force found Sumail, another death for Sumail. Down to four bloodstone charges, three deaths in a row. Probably the worst mid-game. I've seen on a Sumail storm. And who's up? Hey, better, 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 better. This is a softball. Oh, you're definitely taking this first. I don't think that Ursa had the double overpower up for that kill. Tough times. Cheese, Aegis, all of it for Ana. Actually, does pass it off to S4. But OG are on the hunt now. S4 is really on point this game. Oh, they found one. Catching out Arteezy. He's just a boy who wants to hit Ancients, but OG are not going to let him do that for free. Fissure comes through. Familiars descend. The flock arrives and death by a thousand pecks. He will fall. Not a thousand thwacks. Not, none of that. Huh? Remember the first day, the PL, the thwack, thwack. But that's not <laughs> the sound the familiar makes. Yeah. 
Come on, Lumi, you gotta mix it up here. All right. <laughs> That's a mix. This game makes me dislike Ursa even more than I already dislike Ursa. Ursa has not had a good success rate. Him and Tidehunter. I would say the goats of the tournament, and I don't mean the greatest of all time when I say that. I mean, he did okay against Shaker. Yeah, sort of. Killed him but a couple like, times. I mean, like Ben was pointing out, Shaker, Shaker was farming well. Oh, he got one. Found Donna. S4 comes in looking to sa save it, but Donna uh. just time walks it off. The Lincoln Sphere pays off. Yeah, this Lincoln's has been very valued this game. Yeah, Pudge needs a force staff to deal with it. I mean, they've been trying to kind of combine it together with the mana burn from Nyx, but hard to get everything. Well, they can hit an impale. Yeah. But even so, what if he? What if they false promise him? He turns around Chronos and they just lose the fight. That could easily happen. Sure. I, I think in that uh, engagement, there, if Ursa was alive during that point, they they get that kill. Pretty simple. But he was dead for like two more seconds. Oh, geez, it seems like they might want to consider a high ground siege here. They've got the familiars out, and they get to work on this tower. Hook catches only the melee creep. Crit. Going to be looking for a better one on round number two. Uh, now the glyph committed. EG not overly interested in defending. They are pushing out mid with the Ursa. Only now is Sumail TP'd home. Another hook attempted. Birds just keep on wailing away at this tower. No tail. Sticking around. And now down below half health. Just about, anyway. Zana has blinked into the trees. It's a bold maneuver. He knows. Oh. He gets pushed out. Crit now. Trying to make something happen. That Lincoln Sphere gets broken. But remember, he holds the Aegis. This isolates Crit in the end. Oh my Zana God. time walks all of it up. The Wukong's command is dropped even. S4 hangs on to the Echo there. Thought he was going to blow that as well. Now the tower about to fall. Visage continuing to do work here. He is the real building hitter for OG. And... That with the Enchant Totems, getting the job done. Sumail still trying to find an opening in these fights, has completed the Orchid. OG, knocking, banging. Crushing the front door. Turns out these familiars don't get countered by the Coddle at all with Gravekeepers. Yep. I thought the Blinding Light was going to do a bit more, but then no -Tail just like puts on his stone form and then hits the building again. I think the, the, the bigger problem is that the Ags on the Kado is so delayed because he had to go for the Glimmer. Because traditionally, back in Monkey King's heyday, Kado is seen quote-unquote as one of the counters, right? Like being able to see where he is pretty much at all times. Right. So. Is that even a big deal though? Like I, I think even if they see the Monkey King, it's like, who cares? Well, I mean, you don't you won't get Wukong Command like they just did like by the trees and stuff. I don't even think that matters though. Like the, the Pudge would have died anyways. Well, it's, no, it's just like Wukong Command makes it hard to defend uh, against the pushes. I yeah. mean, the birds are already hard enough to defend against. Now you, there's a Wukong command you have to charge through. I think the Glimmer the glimmer should have put them in this place where they don't lose people during Chrono, but it failed because of, I would say, pull positioning by EG, like the people that get Chronoed. And like mm -hmm. RTZ has been caught out a lot, uh, I would say. And Sumail's died a couple of times as well. So they're like, they have the Glimmer, but they can't use it because it's once together. And they're getting picked apart. Also, I think a lot of it is like the split push pressure from the birds. Like they have a yeah. lot of issues pushing on the lanes, even with recall. This is the second time we've seen, or where this point is such a big part. The, the game one where they were down Rex. Um, I think the statement was we, we didn't even feel like they were down Rex, right? The birds are doing a, such a good job pushing out the lanes. Is this his first phase ban against them now? Hmm. I don't know about first phase. I mean, they play as a 1 and a 5, right? Like, it's so the versatile. Five was, the 5 was not effective, though. Like, the one game they played it. I don't know if it was the Visage's fault. I can't really remember the game. Well, I think another thing about it is that they can run it with, like, any strat or any, any heroes that they have. It's not... Like, they don't have any minus armor on their team. They don't have, like, that great of synergy. They don't have, like, any ways to buff up. No alacrity this time. Sometimes they do have that with the Visage, but he's still doing a lot. And then game one, it got crushed in lane. He still does a lot. So, I don't know. I think that might be a smart move going forward if OG advance further on in this tournament. I wonder if another part of how this game is going is that Storm just struggles to kill these heroes. 
he's not, not supposed he's, to. He's not getting many clean kills. Yeah. That's true. I don't think he's getting any help. Like he's zipping in and then no one else is around yeah. him. Yeah, isn't isn't like shouldn't the Knicks be like walking around, you find one storm, combos it up. But we haven't been seeing It's really hard for like to get into the fight, you've got to worry about the boundless strength, the Wukong's command, the chrono, the echo fissure. Like there's so much control that without a BKB, like yeah. there's way too many ways to punish you when anyone jumps in, be it Storm or Nyx. And even if you jump someone, you can still get false promised. So it's like not even guaranteed if you find like a good target like Shaker. If Shaker's out in the open, normally you go on him, but right now he has cheese. False promise cheese, it's over. I guess the room for error for Storm this game is quite low as well because the stuns are coming in from like a mile away, right? I think that's Blink fissures. Yeah, I think that's really the big point is like EG's draft is almost entirely built around enabling Storm. But Ursa's not gonna carry the game later. It has to be Storm and OG are just too good at punishing Sumail's dives. He can't really make plays. He's had a few mistakes as well in a game where he need to be, like you said, Lumi, pretty close to flawless and now it's gonna take some Major overextensions by OG uh, for him to come back. Now, granted, high ground is probably the best place for that to happen. He also didn't get that first Aegis. I think that's also a big deal because they gave their Aegis to Ursa, but they didn't actually use it. No. Remember, they like yeah. didn't use it for that fight. Whereas Sumail, I think, died while Ursa had Aegis, yes. and he could snowball a lot harder. And we'll see S4 uh, mm -hmm. prediction jump with the trying to bait the with Sumail, but he knows that Ana is going to blink Chrono if he's not careful. Now they're in danger of getting separated here. As EG's done on a big flank, they want to fly first. They try to find him. The balance comes out from Jerex. The oh hook no! back on Arteezy saves fly. Secret agent crit costing EG a lot here. Now Ana's on the hunt. Is able to purge up crit, lock him down. He'll be sacrificed for the greater good as they scramble to retreat. There goes the snare locking universe in position for now. Ana still hunts forward. Time walking in. And in the end, the punch just TP'd out. They don't even care about him, apparently, it looks like. So Universe now being controlled nicely by Ana, still trying to hold on to that Chrono, and he will do so successfully. <laughs> yeah, they just let the punch go, I guess. They're going mad sling against Earthshaker's getting Lincoln's too. <sighs> Bit unfortunate there. For EG. Yep. Arteezy blinking in at the split second that the crit hook comes out. So now that OG is kind of firmly in control, uh, do you think that this Monkey King would have been better than, let's say, a Kunkka? Mm. Hard to say because I think Kunkka is a lot worse at laning. Because, like, the way he played the lane, he just, like, stood up there and beat them with Jingu. And they couldn't... They, I well, was, he wasn't even doing that very well, He right? wasn't, but Kunkka can't do that. Like, Kunkka, you just torrent, but it does no damage. Right. And, like, Nyx has a ton of regen. But... In terms of a team fight, yeah, I, th I think Kuga would have been similar. I mean, like, I, I think it catches the storm a bit better. It combos a lot better with your Chronosphere. Speaking oh, of big Chronos. team fight. Breaking out. Ana finds two. Actually, three with the Chrono. Now looking for the follow The Echo's still ready. They lock down Sumail. If they can kill off the Storm oh. Spirit, it's a big Chrome. He pulls out. Barely living. Hanging on still, though. A two hero fissure. The follow up lockdown. Um, overwhelming from OG is they still managed to get two kills. Even with Sumail making that last second escape, OG now about to break the base. Universe will try to hold here. No buybacks. This could be the end. The boys in blue are in shambles. OG surging. The right time. They'll look for the tier three tower. This is going to be a second lane of Rax. Creeps are shoving in the bottom lane right now. The blinding light delays it for now. But those familiars keep on working. Relentless aggression. Sumail jumping in. Jumping out, trying to bait something from OG, trying to stall, but their eyes are firmly fixed on the prize, and now they're going to find Universe here. Glimmer Cape, trying to keep him alive, but it's those familiars, man. That and the Enchant Totems just wrecking these buildings. Another melee down, and one step closer. En route to a top four finish here. They're looking for more, though. Sumail trying to get something on the way out. The Fissure comes through, connects on two, delaying and preventing that crit hook that could bait OG into a bad fight. Monolik, no tail. He endures it and then keep on walking back. I just want to see a chugga chugga. A what? Just Chug the monkey king hole. Chugga chugga. Close to the sound that makes. Very systematic, slow siege coming out from OG. Oracle just 
sitting away at the back line, doing whatever he wants. It's pretty great. They're all also very good at protecting the Oracle. Like, Fly is able to... He could throw three Lincolns on him. Yeah. That's a dream. Back to back to back Lincolns <laughs> for your five but even, position. Even the time that they jumped Oracle in the mid lane where they botched the kill, like they still had the instant instant strike coming out from the uh, from the Monkey King. I think that's something that he offers that the Kunkka can't is that instant range AOE stat. That, that's definitely true. Yeah. To help your bros out. Do whenever that happened, that sound happens. I'm like, oh, the ovens, the ovens ready. <laughs> that void taunt. Here comes OG Universe in the midst of the squad, and so too crit is revealed now. Trying to make their moves, they jump and they try to lock down the Shaker, but the Shaker with the Yules is able to turn things around. Now flies there to heal him up. Boundless strike under the Pudge. Sumail has used his whole pool of mana, and Ana is onto him. Has the Bloodstone deny, thinking about it, focusing down the Echo commitment. They get the kill out for a minute. This storm is in shambles. TP out for the Pudge, but who really cares? He's not much of a factor at this point, Zai. Trying to make his escape. Ana slams the door on him as well. That's Gem on the ground. Storm has two Bloodstone charges. That's pretty much game at this point. That's that like pitiful, just... especially by Sumail standards. He gets disarmed. He has all these items, but he still can't kill anyone. Even if he orcs up a target, they can't catch any spells. He just gets disarmed by Monkey King, and then, and then what? Like, who do you go on? You know, they try to go on S4, he just heals himself. You go and fly, and the Chrono is there to counter initiate. They can chuck those Lincolns on him. At this point, they just can't kill anyone to start the fight. And their lineup is just predicated on picking someone. Like, their deep fight's not that good. It's all about the Nyx, Pudge, Storm Trio fighting that opening kill. I think uh, that gank on bottom where, like, Urshiger died to Ursa, and then Ursa got caught out by death, and then and they took the tower, I think that slowed his game to the point. Like, if Let's say he didn't die there and he TP top to push. He would have had his flats like maybe two minutes earlier. They would have done Roche. I think Storm would have been there to get the Aegis and then like things would have been a little bit more in a place for them. But I think like Storm's always like one item behind too. He doesn't have BKB, which he desperately needs to uh, go into these fights to kill the back line. And Ursa has been a huge non-factor in this fight despite the net worth. That We need that goal to damage ratio for this game. Uh, Sumail's ranked number one in that category. Goal to damage? Wow. Maybe not Maybe not after this game, but... Oh, you mean coming in. Yeah, okay. coming in. Uh, during the stats, I was looking I think Arteezy was like 21st or something. But it was 99.9%. Yeah, which apparently is like not very good. Huh. No? Uh, it's like, your, I think it's your net worth to damage, so... Yeah. This game he would do like 14,000 damage. Which is not particularly good. I don't no think one. he did 14,000 damage. I don't think game. he did 14,000. He's dropping in the ranks, dude. Oh, but Sumail did have that Zeus scheme. That's Zeus is great here. That's, for a, a, that's a nice little stat pad. I think he did 70 something thousand, so that's yeah. definitely inflating. Strong the Zeus? Last game? Yeah. No, oh, he did like 37. 000. Oh, 37? Oh, okay. He did not do so. Never mind. So it's 70? I, I, I think it was, you're right. It was. It was what? Or maybe it was 57. Uh, there's a 7 70. in there somewhere. There was a 7. We can confirm. I think it was 57, actually. This is very important to Ben. He's looking it up right now. I'll check on. Oh, you can check on it now, Ben. I'll check somewhere. He just goose is cooked. I love that expression. The goose is cooked. The goose is cooked. I Does that mean you're goose. just in trouble, or? I don't know what the origin of that expression is. Actually. We were both wrong. He did fifty-five thousand. All right. Well, fifty-seven is pretty. Tinker close. did fifty-seven. Okay. I'm okay with that. Same matters. I'm okay with settling on 57. I'm a little ashamed of my initial 37 now. Nick's eggs, pretty decent. At Nick's eggs, Otto. Yeah, let's go. Go for that long game. Well, it's gonna be long if he won't come back. Ooh, I like this. RTZ. Sneaky jumpers. They dropped the observer, but it is in sight of the observer. Ortiz going way out there. The ultra wrap around from S4. Boundless Strike sets it up. Then the follow up comes from Ana. Look for the S4 jump. He wants that fountain dive. Well, that's a free Rex. 
No tails, just space created. Chopping it down with the guards. Got the range, and now he makes his move. S4 with the big leap. Good hook, but it's right into the waiting arms of oh. Ana. Sumail can't make it out. Ana takes him down. And now EG in shambles. Universe trying to escape that Wukong's command, but the Bash Lord is on the chase. Arteezy locked in, and now they can go back for that lane of Rex. No buyback on Storm, no buyback on Pudge. It's going to be a big power play here as Jerax holds the line. Gets off the Fissure into Boundless Strike combo, and now... EG find themselves routed I'm on the verge of being knocked out of the Mars Dota 2 League. Man, the finals. Wukong command makes him so tanky. He he's took the, the bite, the rot, and two tier four, just shooting him the whole time and he didn't lose like any HP. EG. GG. EG is eliminated. I, I believe the rumors of OG's demise are greatly exaggerated, gentlemen. Pretty strong showing from them. I think yep. this, this game was very, very well played by S4 and Ana showing.